what are the best school districts in the area? What about the best elementary school or high school? And how to know if these areas fit in with your home buying budget? Well, stay tuned as I walk you through this research. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, your local San Jose, California realtor, here today to discuss schools in the San Jose area. So I'm going to walk you through some of the research that you can do on your own to help narrow down the neighborhoods you want to target. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize my screen so you can get a view of what I've got. Okay, so I'm first going to have you start at HomeownerExperience.com, California schools. So if you go to HomeownerExperience.com under find a home, you'll see California schools. The reason I'm bringing you to this is there's two very important school research websites that are linked here for you to use as a resource. So the first is Great Schools, you've probably seen that, and the second one is the California Online Scoring Tool. So let's jump right over to the greatschool.net website. And what I did here is search San Jose Area Schools, and we're looking currently at elementary schools. If you look at the top, you can change it to middle or high school, depending on what your focus is. But I want to point out the pockets or areas in San Jose that tend to have really highly rated elementary schools. So there's several pockets that are of focus. The first is going to be over here in West San Jose, Campbell Border. The second is Cambrian and Almaden Valley. Uh, those two areas kind of blend together and you see there's a couple here in central San Jose that are or more Willow Glen area that are actually part of San Jose Unified School District as well. And then up here in the upper section is Berryessa Union uh, element or School District. And then down here is Evergreen School District. So those areas are well known for good schools. So that's a great place to start your research for sure. Once you start looking at these areas, it's important for you to understand the reviews on the schools and maybe what area is going to work for you. Obviously, consider your commute and other things. Check out the video I'm going to link below, above excuse me, about um, how to do the research to narrow it down. So as you're narrowing down to your target area, you want to know your budget, of course. So you've got to at least be pre-qualified by a lender. Now, I highly recommend you drive the areas that are coming up in your budget because it's important to understand what areas you feel are a good fit for you. Also, by driving the neighborhoods, you can get a feel for the style of homes that might work for you. And then also the next step would be to work with a realtor to really focus on the key schools and the borders. So check out my video on things to do before buying a house. I'll link it above to give you a little bit more uh, basis on those steps as well. So when do you contact a realtor to help? I kind of briefly mentioned that above, but the sooner the better, especially if you need more guidance. So what I wanna do is now go into the school scores a little bit more. Here is an overview of the California dashboard of the entire Santa Clara County schools. Uh, these are ratings for 2019. Obviously these will be updated at the end of each school year, but the state system has a score by colors. If you look here on this screen, blue is going to be top, like think of a, you know, a blue ribbon as first place. Green is great, and then you see the colors in descending order. So you want to look probably for blue or green schools, which kind of correlate to the schools that are rated 8 and 9, and in some cases 7, on the greatschools.net website. So if we take a quick look here at the school districts in the county, um, you will note that on the right side are the math and English test scores. So Berryessa Union School District uh, rates high in those areas, green. Uh, Cambrian is blue. Uh, Cupertino, which is not San Jose, is blue also. Um, there's some other areas in here. Los Gatos and Saratoga are high, but we're focusing mostly on San Jose today. And so if we scroll down to this area here, we have a Union Elementary School District is also blue. So this is a great way to kind of focus and highlight on the areas that are jumping out with really good school scores. There's a couple other things that are rated uh, for the state score and you know graduation rate is more of a high school uh, rating. You won't see that for the elementary schools, but there's things about absenteeism and how they do suspension. So if those are important to you, look at those factors as well. So the state um, definitely tracks several different things. Now, once you've kind of narrowed that down and decided which one, you can click on here and get into a little bit more detail on what each district and each school is. There's also metrics 
that you can download reports in regarding to the student population. Uh, so there's a lot of great information on the state report that you won't find on greatschools.net. I also want to point you to this resource here on my website again under Find a Home San Jose Communities. Here I've noted the top neighborhoods in San Jose from my video with some links with a little bit more information about each area. Some of those areas are top because of the schools and the environment. Some of them are top for other reasons like a great downtown. So definitely look at that. If you're looking at schools, obviously you're going to want to focus on the ones that are known for schools like Almaden Valley and Cambrian and Campbell areas. And then Willow Glen, you saw there was one school in that area that really jumped out, um, and, or two actually really. This is uh, Books and Elementary in the Willow Glen area, part of San Jose Unified School District that has a rated an eight. So hopefully that's really helping you. Now the next question I, I touched on quickly was when to contact a realtor to help. And I think the next thing is how to really focus your search and understand the school borders. So for example, if you're working with me, here's a Union School District elementary borders. And you can see each elementary school has a map and borders of where that school uh, line ends. So as a realtor works with you, we can draw this specific map that is meeting your criteria into the MLS so it's hyper-focused. Let me show you an example. Here's a search I have for a client who's looking in basically West San Jose Campbell area. And there's a lot of areas around the freeway he doesn't wanna consider. Uh, so we definitely are able to go in and draw specific lines. And this is a search by the school district and then eliminating particular areas that he does not like. So that is where a school, a realtor can really help you not only with the actual maps, I can bring up some more maps I have um, of specific areas, but here's the Cambrian School District. You can get an idea of where Bagby and Fanamatre and Farnham, all the different schools are. Here's Forest Hill, which is in Campbell Elementary School District, is highly rated. So again, you can set up these focused areas with your realtor, and the sooner you start working with them, the better, because you can make your search very focused to meet the criteria that you need. So watch next the playlist of different neighborhoods so you get a feel for each neighborhood before you drive around. And also check out my video on how to research the first steps of the home buying process. Thank you. Mm -hmm.